All right, guys, so we got a heavy duty wind sock, so to speak, on deck, which should help with the wind at the yard today. But y'all know what it is call start time. Welcome back to another Copart walk around. I know you guys were asking me about the boats last time on the premiere. We may take a look at a few of those today, but I have a few other future cars coming up on my list that I really want to take a look at. So we're going to do those um, and then we're going to go from there. But anyways, let's go ahead and get directly into it. I may pause here uh, in a minute as well because, you know, we actually have to do the live stream as I mentioned from the beginning of the video if you're interested in that you can tune into that by going to uh youtube.com forward slash tommy kelly link is in the description down below what is up guys welcome on back to another copart walk around i know you guys are tired of seeing me in this damn mask and believe me i'm tired of wearing it but we have to wear it uh to stay safe it is kind of a rule so uh, I'll continue to follow it so I can continue to bring you guys this cool content. Um, right now, we're going to go ahead and get directly into it. Things first, look at this 20, is this 2019 or 2020? I think it's a 2019. 2019 Dodge Ram 1500. Now, shout out to everybody that was over on the live stream over at our second channel, More with TK. Link in the description. I actually will be doing live streams with you guys uh, on a regular basis when I come out here and giving you guys kind of like a sneak peek of some of the stuff I'm looking at during the week. The quality is not great. It's a live stream. It's not going to be polished and, and nice smooth pans and great video quality. But if you're interested to just be like there, see some of the stuff in real time and some of the funny moments, you guys will get to see that. So link will be in the description for the second channel. I highly recommend you guys go check that out. Plus we'll be doing like podcasts. We might have uh, 
meetups and stuff with other uh, automotive YouTubers whenever this whole virus situation resolves. But anyways, let's take a look at this 2019 Hemi 1500 Ram. And I keep people get mad when I say Dodge Ram. It was a Do it was Dodge Ram forever, so I'm probably going to say that for a while. It's probably going to take me a while to get away from that. Now, unlike so just like every other Dodge, this thing has 1894 miles on it. It's brand new, man. Just like every other Dodge, yes, the airbags deployed, which broke that window. But I don't see I don't see any other damage. The interior looks just so damn good and it smells like this is like you know when you get into a car at a salvage auction that it's going to smell kind of funny but this one it has that new car smell to it still it's so good man god it's so refreshing this is so refreshing all right quick um now i did check before i know someone's gonna you didn't check the fluids if you were on the live stream then you see that i've already looked at this but for the purpose of this of this video i want to give people a first look uh-oh Wow, it took a second to start that time, but she did fire up. So you can see it does run. The uh, big old screen and everything works. Everything works on this Dodge pretty much immaculately, man. The one thing uh, that it does have is this fender definitely would need to be replaced. The hood, uh, the plastics in the front for sure. I don't even know if you could reuse that. Maybe it's possible. Definitely the bumper, definitely the grill. These headlights probably could be saved, but I'll probably replace them because this one does have a couple of cracks here and here. But overall, I mean, this is literally like a brand new truck. So if you bought this, you're going to get this significantly less than retail. Now, it has to go for the right money, right? You don't want to overpay. You don't want to pay retail. I'm sure the insurance company wants you to pay retail for it. Oh, and it's a 4x4. You don't want to pay retail for something like this, but this is a brand new truck that you could buy right and then you're going to put a little bit of money into it whatever that is however much that ends up being and have a very nice brand new truck for like 40 percent off of what you would pay if you would have bought it new or used so this is just one example like there's so many of these deals of these examples out here at copart it's not even funny all right let's see what else we can find out here today Ooh, what is this a running and driving BMW 3 Series. It definitely is going to need a windshield. All right. I'm, I'm leaning towards undercarriage damage with this rocker panel all bowed out. Then again, it could have just got like that from being moved. 328. So it's got the 2.8 liter engine in it. says it's oh wow spider web no thank you what do you guys think it says run and drive i see glass on that window over there i mean on that window on the seat i'll take a look at it i'm willing to bet she's dead as a doornail though yeah it's dead has a little bit of a rank smell in here but not nothing too bad nice leather seats the interior is in really good condition yeah, uh, it's been here for a while though. Weird. Uh, been here since wow. So it might be a title, <clears throat> might be a title issue on this one if it's been here since May. So we're almost approaching a year, almost a year that it's been sitting. But hey. Definitely will be one I'll add to my watch list. You never know. You, they can pop up, and then you can get, end up finding something and getting a really good deal. Look at this Buick. Man, it's like it just got squished. I think we've seen this one before, but just it just it just amazes me to see see that man. Whew! Ouch! Smashed. And then, you know, you know, I had to. You know, I got to put one in here. Toasty! Toasty! <laughs> you know it's coming, right? Oh. All right. Now, there is one I want to see with you guys over here. It is a... Sorry for the camera shake, guys. It is a Mitsubishi Evo. Look at this. Brembo is on it. Evolution X. 
this real carbon fiber? Yeah. Carbon fiber deck lid there in the back. You got the wheels. Looks like a carbon fiber hood. Yep. And this is why it's here. I'm willing to bet undercarriage damage. You can see that wheel is just done. All done. 100% wrap. That is finished. Finished, I say. Finish him. Manual. But you know what? It, the interior doesn't look bad, man. This I wonder if the undercarriage if it's just suspension damage. Wow, y'all got the Recaro seat laying all the way back. Yeah. Somebody took the wing off of it. But hey, let's take a look at it. What do you guys think? I think this could be a a decent uh, this ain't gonna be no giveaway car candidate. This thing could be a beast. Yeah, see, they probably had other aftermarket gauges and stuff in here. They've all been ripped out. You got wires and stuff sitting. I'm willing to bet she ain't got no power neither. Oh, and no keys. Yep, so that'll do it. That's why it's sitting. That is definitely why it's sitting. But it does look nice, man. Shout out to USAA. Oh. Again, if you guys don't know, USAA is a sponsor here on TK's Garage. And we really appreciate them supporting the channel. We really appreciate them supporting the channel. I don't know why this mirror is like that. Let's put it back the way it's supposed to be. Oh, got a Malibu here. I wonder what's up with that. Interesting. Okay. 182,000 miles on this one. It's all zip tied together. Ooh, look at the mud. Yeah, this thing went... You see the mud all up in the coolant system, all up in here. Just caked in. And this one is listed as a flood. Front end and flood. Yep. No power. This one is uh, probably, probably not something I'm going to look at. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys. Now I want to take a look at this Audi A7. Now I got to see it last week. But now that I see that it's now on upcoming and not future, I want to take a look at it and see what it's uh, see what it's working with. I see that buckled fender here in the front. I see that right there. So, you know, definitely some front end damage. You can see the crash bar here has a slight little ding to it, right? Hood definitely needs to be replaced. If you're gonna get one light, you might as well get them in a pair. That one's cracked and broke, so definitely gonna need a front fascia, headlights, hood, fender. That's probably what totaled it. I bet you, and look, they, I mean, they include the headlight in here, right? They got the headlight in the car, but that's smashed. Unless they can replace the lens and they're savable, I don't think so. All right, this one's got 78,000 miles on it. It does have airbags deployed. And she does not have any power, so. I mean, there's the interior. I don't have to get all the way in here then for you guys to see all that. Okay. Woo! Strong smell of cigars and buttholes. Man, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I don't know. It, go, it, it was 78,000 miles. I could add this to my watch list and see, you know, what's up with it. It is a 3.0. It's not even a 4.0. So, you know, it's only a 6. But I don't know. I guess it would depend on what it would go for. But it could be something I could look at. And another one of my favorite type of cars to see out here. Look at this Lexus LS430. 188,000 miles on the clock. What is wrong with it? Some very minor light front end damage. You know, hood, headlight, bumper cover here in the front, and a fender. Nothing major. Definitely parts are uh, being the year on this to, uh, what, 2003? I mean, parts are readily available. 188,000 miles. I w I'm willing to bet you this thing has a ton, a ton 
of life left. Oh my God, this thing smells so good. That is super rare. It is super rare that you find a car that actually smells good like this. Oh, and she's got power. She had power. So battery's dead, but left front door range, range approximately 266 miles. Everything works. Let me see if I can turn this off. I guess not, huh? Uh, it's just because it's dead. But I bet you, you know, it is listed as a run and drive. So I bet you it'll run and drive. And look at how mint. Look at these seats, man. This car is old as dirt, man. I say old as dirt. It's a 2003. This car is super old. And look how good the interior looks in here, man. Somebody took care of this thing. These are the kind of rebuild projects that interest me. Even the door is not super dirty. These are the kind of rebuild projects that interest me because I love the big boy Lexus. Look, it even has it even has a tape deck. <laughs> and I don't know. Some people are not a fan of all the wood grain, but I am. Look at this. And it comes full of quarters and stuff in here. Look at this. There you guys go. Okay. Uh, and just so you know, if you happen to come out to any of the auction yards and stuff, they do monitor you. If you find something like that, you better leave it where you found it. I don't care if it's a hundred dollar bill you find in a car, you don't touch it. You let it, you leave it alone. Um, you know, if you think that it was there on accident, sometimes it's there on purpose and they're trying to see if people are honest and if you're a scumbag. So I recommend uh, if you find money or something in the car or take it out and give it to somebody at the office, tell them you found it. Maybe they tell you to keep it. Who knows? All right, so the next two vehicles I want to show you guys, we have this Kia Stinger and we have a Dodge uh, Charger 392 uh, Hemi SRT8. I don't know if it's a scat pack, but you can see the mud all over this, mud caked all up in the wheels. All right, same thing here. And it says it's a front end. So that's the loss, the damage on this is front end. And yeah, we can see it. Look at the mud that is caked up on this Dodge. Now I'm willing to bet with 22,000 miles and how much mud. Oh, wow. This has got to be a flood car. Look at the woof. Okay, she is. Look at the mud all over the steering wheel, all over the, oh man. But you know what though? For somebody that don't care and doesn't mind cleaning, you could probably get you a very low mile, really nice 392 Hemi, clean it up and keep it going. You guys think the engine is all messed up? Let's take a look. All right, well, this one's dead. It's definitely not gonna start. It has no power, but uh, these are why you definitely wanna come out and look at, at cars, guys. I mean, you, I can see it. You can see the 392 Hemi there. All right, and if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the stuff all the way, let's see if I get it to focus, all the way down in there, man. Just caked up with mud. And that's sad. And that's more than likely, more than likely why they totaled it. You know, it was probably a total loss because of the front end, because of this, you know, the mud, the net and all everything else they caught in it, right? And because of that, so yeah. All right, hopefully the wind is less today, guys. I put, I did some modifications to the mic and put a much bigger, what they call a dead cat on here. So hopefully it's a little bit better. We're gonna go over here and look at some of the vehicles way down that way. And uh, I wanna get back and see a couple other things, but yeah, let's get into it. All 
right guys the wind is blowing boy we are here and before i looked at a couple other vehicles one in particular i think i'm about to do start doing videos called copart stories um i've had people reach out to me that recognize their vehicles that are now going through auction it's kind of kind of interesting kind of different and i thought maybe i would do a copart stories section Speaking of stories, I know y'all want me to, <laughs> ooh, look at this trash truck. I can't do it, man. I am not getting near that sucker. All right, we gotta do it. We're gonna do it. Oh. Oh, this one's a fire, huh? Damn. That one is say with me. Toasty. Wonder if it's still full of trash. We gotta semi truck that's smashed let's take a look at these rvs Whew. Whew. this one is kind of bad let's look at the front why is it here i don't see any damage on the front i know i'll go outside and see the other side and see that it was a. Uh, smashed or something plenty of uh air fresheners and stuff in here it's nasty at least it don't stink oh yeah there it is see the damage you can see people tried to fix it they put this uh this uh beam in here and then what is that a two by four all the way across you know but uh yeah the roof whoa get away oh guys hold on get off get away from me move spider <laughs> i do not play with, with spiders man no sir uh-uh get oh all right well i wanted to show y'all some more of that but if this thing it is look there's a bunch of spiders in here i'm good i'm straight i wanted to show y'all the back but y'all gonna have to let me do some electronic zoom Whoop! <laughs> Technology. Yeah. This one doesn't smell bad though, so this wasn't horrible. Uh, the roof definitely probably needs to be fixed. There's no doubt about that. But you probably could pick this up for uh, super low, probably for dirt cheap. You know, probably for dirt cheap. I've seen RVs go out here for 300 bucks. Same thing with these. I love these. These little pop-up campers. You know, you got your bed and stuff in here. You got AC up there on the top. You got like a sun, sunlight, sunroof, whatever you want to call it. You could open it. This is not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know why it's not all closed up. Maybe it's missing. It looks like it is. It's missing the thing to close up. But you probably could buy another one of those to fix it. I guess the question is, does it open and close like it's supposed to as long as it opens and closes like it's supposed to it's a cool little weekend you know weekend warrior weekend getaway huh all right guys we got one more here an arctic fox let's take a look at it oh my god oh this one must be a fire you can see the fire all on the door it stinks like piss. Wonder if this was like a mobile mobile meth lab. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can see that burned. You can see the fire all over the windows. Something, you know, you know what might have happened? I I think I have an idea what happened. It filled with gas. And then it went boom. Cause can you see the top like it's not it, the, the fire didn't continue, it just went and cut out. So the fire didn't continue. It just kind of like went through and then like it burned off whatever propane or whatever gas was in here. And then it was done. To me, that's what, that's what I think. Looking at, looking at the, the fire damage in here, you can see that right there, right? The fire probably was rushing to get out. Damn, more spider webs, man. 
I am walking through these suckers today. And same thing, like, you can see it back there. Toasty! You can see, like the blisters where the fire was trying to get out. But yeah, I don't know. This one is not too horrible. I mean, it's fire damaged. It's going to go for cheap. You definitely would have to replace all of these vents and try to do something to get rid of that burnt propane smell, I guess. Mm. Well, that's going to be it for that one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ew. Close and close, and that's gonna be it. At least it all locks up and everything. But like I said, those vents where it got burned would have to be replaced. Ouch! That must have that must have hurt. Say it with me, smashed. <laughs> all right. Toasty. All right, I think that's it for over here. And then you got this big Kenworth, right? Which I'm sure the powertrain in this thing is probably still good. It's just the cab. The cab got squished, you know what I'm saying? The cab is squished. I bet you, you probably could put another cab on this and it would be fine, like it just rolled over. I bet you, I'm willing to bet, man. I'm willing to bet this Kenilworth could definitely run again. I mean, I don't know how much a cab would cost, but I'm sure it's not cheap. All right, we out here moving. I'm gonna try to get you guys one more solid vehicle for today's video before we wrap things up. So let's go ahead and see what we can find, shall we? Mm -mm -mm. We looked at some of these RVs last week. I don't know what the hell that was. Man. All right. Wow, this poor Mercedes boy. This poor Mercedes I'm walking up on right now. Ouch. I'm talking about next level, ouch. Jeez, that's some carnage for you guys, ouch. That one right there, boy, is all but, say it with me, finished. <laughs> finished all day. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's Copart walk around. If you like today's video and you like what I do, uh, please give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps us when we're trying to, uh, you know, push this channel further. The more thumbs up that we get as early as the video starts, the more people that YouTube will serve this out to. And it greatly, greatly helps us to do what we need to do. So thank you guys very much for all the support and all of the growth. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better today. You see I got the dead cat here on the road mic. Uh, you can also let me know that by smashing that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section down below once this becomes a video. If you didn't know, all the videos that we do here on the channel, we premiere, which is kind of like a quasi live stream. It allows us to interact with you guys in real time. I get to chat with you guys, talk about things. You guys can ask me about cars and all kinds of stuff right down there in the chat. We do that every single time a video goes live. If you're interested in the live aspect of what I'm doing out here, I do a live stream at least once a week, uh, walking around, letting you guys see some of the stuff that I'm looking at before anybody else sees it. So if that interests you and that's something that you would like to see, you can let me know by smashing the thumbs up button and uh, going over to the other channel and subscribing. Link will be in the description to the second channel. Uh, and it would allow you to be able to come in to see live streams if we do a podcast like if I have any of my friends or other youtubers on we might do like a Talking about the industry talking about different things if you're interested in that or want to be able to see that Make sure you go subscribe to the other channel more with TK link will be down in the description below anyways guys That's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna get out of this Amazing wonderland of cars major shout out to Copart. Thank you guys very much uh, for work with me and allow me to come out here and uh and do these videos i really appreciate it and um major shout out to all y'all for helping you know push the channel 
and uh, to continue uh, helping the channel grow. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna get out of here.